this is a very brief video very brief I might add again it's about salt very brief video about salt there's a scripture that says ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost his saber it is thenceforth good for nothing I'll stop there salt is supposed to have minerals ladies and gentlemen just purchasing salt just for the sake of the name salt is not enough what's in your salt what's in the salt that you've been using all of these years you've heard doctors say cut down on your salt because that's one of the reasons that you have edema swollen ankles and things of this sort that's one of the reasons that you have maybe even hypertension high blood pressure salt but these doctors for the most part study allopathic medicine and allopathic medicine usually uh, prescribes a medication or prescribes surgery very very rarely will you find a general practitioner a doctor that will tell you how to correct the problems that you already have your pre-existing conditions nor will they tell you where they came from in most instances so getting back to salt understand this I'm not a chemist but I do fundamentally know this the salt that we've been using most of us have been using for decades has been killing us the table salt that you buy and the most common one is in the blue container the one right here you recognize this listen this salt contains primarily two ingredients not to mention the caking agent to avoid the salt from clumping together that's detrimental to us in and of itself because we don't know what it is it is called calcium silicate anti-caking agent what the heck is that do you know what that is why does it belong in your body even though it stops the salt from clumping together but what is it it's not food but anyway this table salt that we've been using traditionally for many many years has sodium chloride two ingredients primarily did you not know that these two minerals are unstable by themselves and if they're unstable by themselves you can only imagine what they do to the human body being unstable you see you have to have other minerals to make those things balance out in the human body some ingredients don't work by themselves effectively they have to have other ingredients and or components to function optimally especially in the human body I would advise you and I use this example in a previous video this is Himalayan sea salt that's the particular brand name 84 there are 84 minerals in this salt guess what sodium chloride is also in here you get what I'm saying you need the other minerals they work in tandem to be holistically effective in the human body so you may want to consider Himalayan sea salt with the micronutrients that it has the, the many many minerals that are in here in addition to the sodium chloride and you do know you you do know that you need sodium chloride to make hydrochloric acid in your stomach right you have to have that but anyway uh, I mentioned in the last video also another salt that I recommend would be Celtic spelled C-E-L-T-I-C -E Celtic salt it has as many minerals as the uh, Himalayan sea salt does as well so stop using the one salt that I just showed you that we are more familiar with that you've been having it on your shelves for years has been causing all kinds of uh, injuries to the human body to your body to my body to everyone's body because it's unstable by itself or they are unstable by themselves those two ingredients along with the anti-kicking agent which we all know nothing about that's a foreign item in your body as well that causes inflammation so consider and then start applying 
Himalayan sea salt or Celtic salt in your diets today. And if you were to put some in your water to get your electrolytes, just a pinch. That's all you have to put in the water, a glass of water, 12 to 16 ounces of water, a pinch of Himalayan sea salt, and your body becomes electrified the way nature intended for it to be. It's not complicated. And you could put it in your meals that you would normally put your white salt in. Does the same thing and then some. This is Brother Teacher. So long.